She was diagnosed officially um, in August 2018, um, having been very unwell before. Um, you know, she'd been in hospital. We'd taken her in um, because she had a lot of symptoms, so significant weight loss. She described this cramping that she had in her tummy. I've got a crunch, she'd say. She was very pale, very weak. Um, and it was interesting because we hadn't really recognized how severe it was because it was that kind of thing where it's happening in front of your eyes so you don't necessarily notice it. Anyway, she ended up in an A&E several times. They diagnosed anorexia. Um, yet we were like, it's not anorexia. And they said, well, you know, kind of you're kidding yourself, you know, and then you doubt yourself and then you're sitting in your bed at 3 a.m. Um, oh, all this awful stuff. Anyway, so because I have colitis myself, so I have IBD, yeah. um, that was kind of my start point, kind of, well, could she have what I have? But, oh, I was never that ill. I was ill, but never that ill. Um, but, you know, she started to have, some, the medication had started to have some impact, but had a lot of side effects with it and never enough so that she could continue with her day-to-day -day life. And it was, it was horrendous. Again, what were her symptoms? Symptoms. Before we started, so, what was going on? Yeah, hideous cramping, um, like awful cramping, flatulence, um, fatigue was, you know, sleep 12, 14 hours and still be exhausted. Because that was one of the first things originally we were like, oh. But then we also, we didn't know. We didn't know that that was different to what happens when you start puberty because <laughs> we had no experience of it. Um, and paleness, uh, just. I mean, the fatigue, you know, when people say they're tired or they're fatigued, you know, or exhausted, you're like, ah, now? How do you even know what that word means? You know, fatigue does not being able to go up the stairs, you yeah. know? Fatigue yeah. is struggling to get out of the, loo, at the bed to go to the loo. So these were Martha's symptoms to the point that we had to take her out of school. Where are we now? What's going on? Are we on medications and symptoms? Where are we? Um, yeah, pretty much all of my symptoms are gone, except for um, occasionally, if I eat a food I shouldn't eat, like dairy, gluten, sugar, that sort of thing, I will have a sore tummy. But sometimes it won't be a sore tummy. Sometimes it will just be like, I just like. Feel a little off? Yeah, like a little off. But like, I know what it is because I but know that I eat something it. I shouldn't have. You're not having yeah. these extreme reactions. You can handle it even yeah. if you eat something yeah. you, you have, is, you're allergic yeah. to. Yeah, but only like once in a while, not like every day, that would be too much. So, um, and so for the most part, cramping's gone? Yeah. One to two bowel movements a day? Generally one. Generally one. So how much weight have you gained? Uh, about eight kilograms. So roughly maybe 18 pounds? Yeah. Okay, and what about your energy? How's that? Yeah, it's pretty good. So you have enough energy to run around, go to school, not sleep in 14 hours a day anymore? No, I do quite like, to, I still quite like sleep though. Um, but I, yeah, I am homeschooled just because like we're still working around it. Um, and now I actually have a choice. Like, it's like, my mom's like, do you want to go on a walk? And I'm like, no, not because I can't, but because I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and nice. And, and Martha, do you feel good about the way you're eating? Do you like uh, how you eat? Do you feel like you have enough to eat? Yes, I'm always hungry after I eat my dinner. I always want more. <laughs> wow, so your appetite's way up and you feel like you like your food, you're eating in a great way, it's making you feel good. Yes. And your doctor was very excited to see how you're, well, you're doing as well. And now that you're here, do you feel excited and empowered about living in a way that makes you healthier? Do you like doing this? Yeah, I enjoy it much more than what I was doing before. <laughs> okay, awesome. And do you, and do you think, what would you say if I said, let's say there was another 14 year old young uh, boy or young girl who was also having tummy issues? What would you say to them right now about their ability to find it's okay to be like this and, 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 and eat in a way that makes you happy and makes you healthy and, and heal? What would your advice be to that, to that young person that maybe might be in your class or your age? Um. I don't know, I just say it gets better and you don't have to do everything that you're told to do. You do what you feel you can do and if you feel like you can do more, then do more. But don't do too much, otherwise you're going to weigh yourself down.